Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to Prehistoric Island. Today we're going to be doing another exhibit and we are going to be doing, if I can find it, uh, let's just go to extinct since I know this is an extinct animal that I'm looking for. Uh, there we go. No, no, no. Here it is. Carnotaurus. And this is a request by, uh, I'm sorry if I get your name wrong, but I believe it's Emil Tycoon. And uh, he's a real cool guy. You guys should definitely check out his channel. Uh, I'll put a link to it in the description. So you guys can do that, but he requested some Carnotaurus. So that is what we're going to do. Well, let me think. I have no plan for this. <laughs> I was trying to think of a, of a good idea for a cool exhibit, but nothing really jumped to mind. So I'm just going to kind of play around with it and see what I can come up with. They're pretty big, so it's definitely going to be something that realistically looks like it would hold them. I do have these. This is Jurassic Park. Um, uh, fences, but I don't I don't know if I want to use those. Seems a little cliche in a way. Uh, these are kind of cool. They're definitely big enough. But they also look... Mm, I don't know if they look right. Come on, go away. Thank you. What else do we got? What else do we got? That's not going to be good enough. Hmm. Huh. Maybe something like that, maybe. How tall do these get? I don't think that would be tall enough. Go. No. Um Yeah, I think I'm gonna I think I actually or what was that? No. I think I'll try something with these. Oh wait. Well, these are the Jurassic Park fences, but they don't have the the danger sign on them, which I kind of like that better. Maybe I'll do that. Unless one of these kind of jumps out at me. I think four high is probably good. And this is going to pretty much take up this whole area. Since they're pretty big, they should have a fairly large exhibit. Even kind of go behind here a little bit. Behind the Stiggy Moloch exhibit. Uh, I'll probably change that actually. Something like that's probably good. Mm, yeah. What biome do these guys? Tropical rainforest. Am I actually going to use that? Maybe. For right now, though, we'll use it for the base. This was temperate forest that we use over here with a little bit of fresh water. Um, I might try something similar, kind of keep all the areas looking similar. But we'll see. We will see. Okay. Let's see. Let's think. Let's think. Okay. Okay, let's play around the terrain first. Just to make it look a little uneven, though it's not totally flat. There, 
that'll do. Uh, now let's go for some water. Oh shoot, I just, this should probably be a little bit closer. I can take care of that. Oops. Extend this out a little more so it matches. Probably. I think that would look better. Yeah, that looks better. Definitely looks better. Um, oh, I got an idea. I'm going to use these dead pigs because you know they're kind of gross. <laughs> I will be the first to admit it looks more realistic, I think, than just having like a pile of these like cookie shaped dinosaur meat or whatever they're supposed to be. Uh, let's go for rocks. And oh, here's the. I noticed that these rocks right here, while all these rocks here in this particular set um, they all look really good, they're definitely bugs somehow because they cause crashes. Um, I was not the only person who had this problem either. I don't know why I had no problem with these over here because that's what these all of these are over here. But I've used them several other times and I've gotten a crash every time. So generally going to avoid using those, which sucks because I really really like them. But here I'm going to use these rocks. I thought nope, not these ones. Actually, but these are nice. Maybe I will use these. I was going to say I'm going to use these rocks. I really like these ones for jungle exhibits. Uh, but now that I found them, uh, should I use these? They look pretty good. I want this to be a really open exhibit. Um, I feel that's probably better for a large animal or dinosaur in this case. Yeah, I kind of like these for this. Do a few of these around in a couple of piles. That'll work. And what do we got as far as trees go? Do I want to use anything that I used? I used this dead trees for sure. I really like those a lot. I like this. I'll put a couple of these. A few around here. Not a ton. Just want to keep it fairly open. And what do I like better? This one. I like this one. Yeah, that's maybe too much. I'll put something else there. trees look, all the different varieties and everything. I think it really adds a lot when you mix it up, the different sizes. I 
there's a nice big one. Um, let's do that in the corner here. And maybe another up front. I don't think I should have to give them water, but maybe I'll put one of these just in case. For whatever reason, they can't drink out of there. It's a possibility. Seeing as this is Zoo Tycoon 2, and things don't always work exactly how you'd like them to. I don't think I'm going to use that because I used it in that exhibit. Don't want too many things looking uh, the same. I want to mix it up. Could put some of these, don't think I'm going to. That was a quick decision. <laughs> um, oh yeah, let's do some various other plants. I'm going to use, even though they're not technically uh, tropical rainforest, I'm going to use these because I really like them a lot. I think they look pretty good in almost every exhibit. Maybe I use them a little too much at times, but lately they've been my plant of choice to use as often as possible. Uh, let's put some over here. Uh, get one in the corner there. I don't know, maybe I should make this hill a little less steep. It's pretty steep here on that side. I don't want them getting stuck. That would be bad. Very bad. Smooth. That's probably a little better. Mm, let's get down here and take a look. I'm liking what I'm seeing. Yeah, I'm liking this a lot so far. But we're not done yet. Not done at all. Get some mushrooms. Some there. And some over here. And all right. Other plants that I use here. I used a lot of these. Don't know if I want to use them in that exhibit though. I feel like there was oh these logs. Yeah, I want to use some some of these for sure. Kind of put them in places where they won't get in the way. So I want to make sure the carnotaurus have plenty of room to move freely. One in the water there. Let's get the other one. Ah. There you are. And right there. A little patch of mushrooms. And probably a few more of these. Okay. What kind of rock is this? look of it in the water so let's put one right there cool all right now I think it's time to decide 
we want to do in terms of the overall volume. I'm going to use this color as a base. And I think I'm going to use more of this uh, fresh water grass. If I can find it. Uh, right there. Really like the way it looks. We should bring the plants back. when it does it. I'm not sure if there's a hack to prevent that from happening or not. I think I remember hearing that there was. But I don't remember. Maybe I'll look for it sometime. See if I can find one. Yep, there we go again. And again. <laughs> Let's actually make this brush a little bit bigger. Here's where it's going to be a pain. Now we just got to go back to here. No, triple rainforest. No, this is temporary rainforest. There is the tropical rainforest. That's what I want. Temporary for us. How does that dirt look like? Yeah, I don't know. I thought it looked it looked cooler then. It does. Anyway. Screwed this up a little bit. Let's try to get it. There we go. That should work. And back to fresh water. Where are you? Do, 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 do. Yep. Okay. Get the brush size as small as. Oh, it's not working. As small as it will go. I'll work over here. Just a little bit over there. Maybe I want one more kind of tree in here. One bigger tree. Mm, any tall pines? No, not that. That's not bad. Maybe. Let's go to all the trees. All the trees. I'm looking for pines. You're not a pine. You're a pine. I like the queen palm. Or not a pine. Palm. Thank you. Not a pine. Um, that's what I already used. What about you? You're not bad. Uh, what did I use out here? How do you look in here? 
Yeah, I like that. Um, let's put them over here. I don't know if I need that many, but you can always move them around. Oh, I gotta fix that over there. Shoot. Can do that. Not a problem. That's that spot right there looks kind of bare. Maybe I can put something over there. Not quite sure what, but we'll think about it and we'll see what we can find. Maybe something will jump out at me. Okay. It looks very bare. Very bare. So let's think about that. And while we're thinking about it, I'll fix this spot. And that all went outside. And that's perfect. Just go to the wetlands. And fix this. Piece of cake. Piece of cake. Okay, let's see. What do we have that can go over there? Could put another few trees, rocks. I mean, there is a shelter I could find a way to put in, but it's kind of jimongous and kind of ugly at the same time. Not a good combination. Let's, um, yeah, I know what I'm going to do. I'm just going to put on the little patches, rocks, and uh, some trees. There. That looks a little better. All right, I think that'll do it. Time to put in the Carnotaurus. Um, this exhibit seems small even for two. Maybe I should just put one. I don't know. Let's put one and see how it looks. Yeah, I thought they did more space. Let's just go with one. Okay, it says this one needs more space. I wonder how much more. Hmm. Let's check this out. Come on, go where I want you to, please. That'll work. 
Well, I kind of spelled that out. I can fix that. That log is kind of funky right there. Well, now you're happy. That's a good sign. I'm gonna fix a couple things real quick. Yeah, that took care of that. And we need wetlands. Okay. Seems like we got some baby uh, Steve Moloch. Somewhere around here. Let's see if we can see them. Ah, there they are. There was one. He disappeared. Oh, there he is. Um, is that it? Is it just one? Looks like three. Very cool. I'm glad that they don't mind being in large herds. That'll be good. Now let's take a look at this, see how the space... Uh, oh, you've got problems. What's wrong with you? Oh, you're stuck. That would explain your problems. Uh, yeah, this thing needs more space. I do have a space hack thing. I think I already mentioned... I don't know if I mentioned that already, but... Um, you know, with downloads, it's kind of hard to... make that always work. I can extend this a little bit. Let me play around with that and just see if that is enough. Because if I can extend it real quick, um, just a little bit, and it's satisfied with that, then that's cool. If I have to extend it a ton, uh, then that's a problem. Then I might have to use a diff the other Chronotaurus I have, which is just the uh, The one that comes with extinct animals, which unfortunately is not a very, uh, not a great design in my opinion. Doesn't look that great. Still need more space? Happy? Okay, space is satisfied now. Okay, that's that's not a big deal. That's that was real quick and easy. So I can deal with it. Although now it's probably gonna freak out because of social names, but you can't win them all. Fortunately, just because of the way I like to do this, the way I like to play this game, it's hard to please all the animals just because I really play it more from a designing aspect, a designing, designing standpoint, like I really just want to make things that look visually appealing both to me and to viewers. Uh, I'm not really concerned with making perfect zoos or making uh, or pleasing guests and stuff. Like this zoo and most zoos I have, I don't even really open to guests because just not just not a concern for me. Um, it's not really what's what, not really what about this game that appeals to me. I want to move you actually over here. Just 
a little more vegetation because we did extend the exhibit somewhat. Ooh, let's look at some more dead trees in here because those look good. Maybe a few of those over here. Just got to fix the terrain. That's weird, you didn't disappear. You're supposed to be a plant. Don't you know what you are? Well, that's just poop. No big deal. I can deal with poop. Is that the right, the right biome? Yes it is. What am I thinking? Uh, cool. That looks good. I like it. It's more open. But like I said, it's I think that's better for something like the size of a carnotaurus. Last thing I'm gonna try and do is try and add one more. See if the if the space is still a problem. Probably will be, but We'll just give it a shot. Yeah, that's what I thought. So you're just gonna have to be deal with being alone. I'm sorry, but you're picky. It's what you get. Oh yeah, I want to do this over here a little bit as well. And a little bit more here. That is the wrong biome. That is the right biome. That's better. Okay, let's get some stuff down for guests, even though there were on the be no guests. Uh, I still want to make a zoo that looks like it would function as a real zoo. So I'm going to put all the regular things that a guest would use. Like, for example, some benches. Wherever you may be. Uh, right here. Two. And then I want to put let's put a recycling can over here. Go to the next to it. Okay, that's good enough. Doesn't need to be anything crazy. I'll probably will do some landscaping, some trees around to fill it in and everything as well, but I'm not worried about that right now. Let's just check this out, see how it looks now that it's finished. It looks pretty good. Yeah, it's a pretty good model. It's a little bit awkward. <laughs> The way it sits, seeing as it's you're now floating, you're not supposed to be floating. I'm not sure if anyone's told you that, but it looks pretty good. Again, there's still some tempered forest right here. Hmm. 
not anymore. I really like the way this fresh water looks though. This fresh water grass, I mean. Uh, especially, uh, particularly in the other exhibit I did, like it looked really good. I still like the way it looks here though. This is not my favorite dirt. And it's rampaging. Why are you rampaging? It's supposed to be happy. Before. I don't know how I shoot. Oh, space bar. Duh. Should read. I think there is a way, I think there's a hack to prevent them. Dino safety. Okay, good. To prevent them from. Rampaging, but maybe I'm wrong. I should put on those dinosaur capture team things. But we'll worry about that later. Not at this moment. So hopefully this thing, even though it's maybe not 100% optimal. Oh, I, I see. It probably needs something to entertain itself. Doesn't really have a lot of options for me though. I mean, I can use that. I don't see that. I'll throw one of these here. Maybe that'll help. I don't know. Don't know. Anyway, <laughs> uh, that's probably gonna uh, be it for this episode here. Got the Carnotaurus. Exhibit set up. Next time, we're going to do some. I'll probably put something here, a small exhibit here, and then I'm going to put another exhibit right here, more than likely. Uh, maybe both in the episode, next episode, maybe just one of them. I'm not sure, uh, but we'll see. So, so yeah. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. I uh, hope you enjoyed the episode. I uh, hope you're looking forward to more of this series. I'm definitely enjoying it. I'm looking forward to getting this whole island filled with awesome dinosaur exhibits and other exhibits as well. Keep those. Keep any in any requests you want for dinosaurs or other animals. Go ahead and leave those down in the comments and uh, consider leaving a consider subscribing if you're interested in seeing more of my videos. A lot more Zoo Tycoon 2 content as well as other stuff so once again thanks for watching and i will see you all in the next episode